All right, here we go with another uh, request, and this time it is Catfish Anglerfish Dragon. Another one from Crocs are nice, kind of a fiendish combo. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but essentially the idea is that you're going to angle tier ones from the opposing team and get a whole load of them for cheap, uh, which sounds good, but in practice uh, doesn't really make a lot of sense because very few people are running tier 1s and here's someone who has an entire team of dragonflies and uh, yeah we just got the dragon scaling going way too early there so don't even get the time to find the angler and this video is going to be a little bit unconventional in terms of the format we're going to show a bunch of runs at the beginning where um, I do manage to get the, uh, the catfish anglerfish here we go again we've got the dragon, the angler and the catfish level 3 on both of the angler and the the catfish but again the team doesn't the opposing team doesn't have any tier one units they do have koala which is kind of funny and now we get nine units for free and we're going to take koala 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 and uh, one of the reasons why i'm starting all of these runs at the very end is that the games involving catfish, anglerfish, and dragon are so long because you're spending so many uh, turns buy selling for the dragon, but also buy selling to recover the gold from the uh, the anglerfish spawns. And uh, honestly, it's um, kind of <laughs> frustrating. Um, so that's why I'm skipping to the end here. Even with this, where we're right at the end, it's going to take uh, a while to get through this one turn of buy selling. But most of the time, because we were, I mean, there's so many things about this build that are um, problematic. The first one is you're looking for three specific tier uh, six units, which is um, always going to be frustrating, especially if none of them have combat abilities. So a lot of the time I was taking um, Lynx or uh, another pet that had a very strong in battle ability to try and offset the weakness of the other tier sixes. But of course you also need to maintain a buy sell slot for the dragon to do anything. So we're running a four squad where we only have one combat ability. And in this case it's uh, the stonefish. So I'm just having to buy sell tier ones that I find in the shop because uh, I'm not finding them on opposing teams. Here's another team which has no tier ones. But you know when you get to the middle double digit turns it's not really surprising. Um, especially in custom packs you just don't expect to see very many teams. I mean, you do still see scaling teams that kept their fish or something from the very beginning, but most of the time it's not like that. And again, here I didn't get any uh, tier ones, so I'm just having to use the shop to buy sell them. And uh, the, I think Dragon, you know, it has its problems, but if you carry a blobfish or maybe a level two crow all the way, um, and sometimes I was using alpaca as well and you instantly get it to level 2, you can kind of catch up in terms of scaling relatively quickly. And one of those first games I did also have uh, the double dragon for a while and then combine them together. This one I'm including because it's kind of an unfortunate uh, 1 HP loss there um, because of the octopus's ability. I don't know if there were any turns in that game that I managed to find any tier 1s with the angler. But now we've got a couple of extra uh, runs at the end. I wouldn't say bonus because, to be honest, they're the main point of this video in the first place. When you're going for odd combos, odd stuff can happen from time to time. And uh, here I don't have the dragon, but I am going to use the T-Rex to just try and get a little bit more onto the anglerfish and the catfish. They're both, you know, <laughs> useless in battle. So that was actually the same person that had the full dragonfly team. Because these have been recorded in the first week of the new update, so many people are playing uh, ranked instead of arena that there's uh, there are very few different opponents to actually go against. So here we get the instant level 2 T-Rex, and I do get the dragon on the level up. Unfortunately, the problem is that I need to keep the links, or I probably need to keep the links, and I also don't really want to rely on the T-Rex scaling. I mean, the whole point of the video is to have the dragon buy cells with the anglerfish um, getting the tier ones or getting some of the tier ones at least. 
So I really only want to keep uh, T-Rex as long as is absolutely necessary. And I definitely want to keep Lynx as well. So T-Rex really needs to go and I would r rather have level two dragon before I start buy selling, but uh, maybe that won't be possible. However, we do get matched with this opponent. And at the time I didn't really think about it, but they have the smallest slug. And smallest slug is a token and every token pet in the game is considered a tier one. And so we fill the shop, we had six slots of the shop with the smallest slug. And now I can sell the T-Rex. Uh, doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to sell a level two T-Rex, but we're gonna do the buy sells now rather than wait for the, the dragon, just so that I got some footage for uh, Crocs because the entire point of this was to get those buy cells in from the free pets from the angler. So we did it. However, having sold the level two T-Rex, I've probably uh, downgraded my squad quite a bit. We do find another dragon and uh, there's a pig. So, I mean, we've got to do that and probably freeze the flea here. Okay, I'm not gonna freeze the flea. We do find walrus, so that's another possibility. Uh, unfortunately, the dragon doesn't have higher than 20 attacks, so if the peanut hits the dragon, then we're in trouble. And wouldn't you know it, we actually get matched with someone who has a tier one that they kept the entire game, and we're gonna lose because of that one HP breakpoint. So that was really just, you know, the tail of the tape for, for this challenge. Um, there were just very, very rarely any opponents that had tier ones. And uh, when I did get them, it was uh, usually too late. So this is another interesting attempt. And we get the angler and the dragon here on turn nine. And I have the alpaca and the blobfish ready to pill. Most of these games, I was trying to do things a little bit differently than normal. I was going for all gold. You've got the swan here. I had the goldfish. Um, I had, uh, I've had. i got weasel as well. So I was just trying to save up as much gold as possible for turn nine and hopefully get the jackpot of uh, uh, at least two of the pets that I was looking for. I can't really freeze the chocolate here because of the, uh, I need the pill. So I think I'm just gonna leave it. Or, okay, we're gonna go for the level up on the weasel and then that gives us another angler. Unfortunately, no pill. We do have two hearts. And the next opponent is a sloth team, which uh, at the time, again, similar to the smallest slug, I didn't really think about it in terms of the angler. Of course, sloth works with uh, with uh, dragon because it's also considered a tier one unit, even though you can never find it in the shop normally. We do get the pill. And I think I was just hyper-focused on pilling the blobfish. And so I hadn't even really thought about the fact that I could be angling a sloth here. But now I'm going to realize it when I hover over the anglerfish and realize that sloth is available. And not only is it available, it was a four squad. So that means I have a 50-50 shot every time I buy an angler to actually get a sloth. And we get it both times. So that was uh, very fortunate. Now, I, I can't really mess around here trying to look for uh, waffles for the anglerfish or anything like that. We just have to take the sloth now and I'm definitely giving up on catfish angler. It just doesn't make any sense trying to do a sloth run when you're sacrificing three slots like that. And here I actually um, messed up because the sloth didn't cost anything. I could have bought sold the pill bug first there before um, I did anything else. Now, uh, the entire point here was to submit a team that had two sloths in it because other people could potentially angle it for me and if there are two sloths, that obviously increases their chances. But um, I'm also like conscious of the fact that I have a decent uh, scaling engine. I have links. I could potentially recover this somehow if I get good enough shops. But um, you know, we are on one heart turn 11. However, with the level two dragon, we could potentially uh, scale up reasonably quickly. And actually, if we get decent enough scaling, I could sell the dragon and uh, bring in some other uh, combat units. So uh, it would be also nice to get Melon uh, on the uh, the Swan, at least. Um, unfortunately, uh, 
it's going to be difficult to do that when we're spending a lot of gold on the buy sells. I think maybe here do I freeze the lemon? And now it's a decision between Lynx and Stego for the last slot. And because the sloth doesn't have any equipment, I can guarantee the Stego buffs are going to go on the sloth. So we'll put it in second position and freeze up uh, both Lynx for next turn. But sadly, there is not going to be a next turn because I actually get matched with the exact same person who I angled the sloth from in the first place. It's not the same team, but it's the same opponent and uh, they end up tanking the sloth run. So sometimes your opponents can give, but they can also take away.